Hello guys, welcome to Sai's channel. What's popping guys? Somebody sent me a little like an excerpt. Let me read it out to you actually. In the midst of the most degrading circumstances imaginable, Franklin used the human endowment of self-awareness to discover a fundamental principle about the nature of man. Between stimulus and response, man has the freedom to choose. Within the freedom to choose are those endowments that make us uniquely human. In addition to self-awareness, we have imagination, the ability to create in our minds beyond our present reality. We have conscience, a deeper inner awareness of right and wrong, of the principles that govern our behavior and a sense of degree to which our thoughts and actions are in harmony with them. And we have independent will, the ability to act based on our self-awareness, free of all other influences. Let's get into it. How you react to every single thing happening around you, how you react to the hindrances, to the obstacles, to the pain, to the confusion, to all of these things that are supposed to be lessons to teach you how to live. And once you see the free will that you have in that nothing is holding you, like I always say this in my videos, that nothing is holding you to say that you have to do this and you have to do that. You don't have to do anything. You have a choice to be and do exactly what you want to be and do. You understand? You have a choice, a conscious choice that you make to live. The beautiful thing I loved about this is the point of imagination and being consciously aware of the fact that you can create a reality for yourself and live in it. I imagine in my head who I want to be, where I want to be, and then I work towards it. That's all a part of self-awareness. And I love talking about self-awareness because it's such a funny subject, you know, because it's like, it's, it's like a blessing and a curse because sometimes ignorance is very bliss. And sometimes it's a comfortable place to close your eyes to, rea to the realities of things and to be, you know, and not really make the external effort and we find ourselves as human beings always complaining, life is like this and I can't and I can't and I can't and this, this, this. And those, and those are the limitations that we put on ourselves that stop us from growing and being who we need to be. But we have the freedom of choice. You have the freedom to choose to wake up early in the morning and be responsible and be and work for yourself and work on your mental health and work on your physical health. You have the choice to do that. And if you choose not to and you become unhealthy, that's your choice. Sorry to put it like that, but you're choosing. You have a choice in how you want to live your life. And we love to victimize ourselves. And we love to feel as if the world is against us. When at the end of the day, the only person that can be against you and stop you from achieving what you need to achieve and where you need to be is yourself. Obstacles are there for you to overcome them. Not for you to not not to stop you from getting to where you need to be. It's the same principle and aspect of why God places certain challenges in your life is because you're supposed to learn from them. A beautiful quote that I love is that things don't happen to you, they happen for you. If you have that perception and you're able to see things from that perspective, that changes everything. It means that you're able to create the reality that you want. Like you have the ability to create the reality that you want. By the end of the year, I made a goal for myself that I want to have this much in my bank account. I might not achieve that, but does that mean that I stop trying? If I already envision myself as a certain person doing certain specific things in my life, I will work towards that until I get it. Whether I get it when I'm 90 or whether I get it at the end of this year or whether I get it in five years time is besides the point. I just finished reading Ikigai. Oh, look, I'm going to do a review on Ikigai because I feel like this book was, was just so powerful. It was so powerful in understanding how we're meant to live. One of the most important things that, that I loved is the idea of them being conscious about the way that they live about being aware that every single decision that you make has consequences. If you feel as if you don't have the freedom to choose how you want your life to be, your life will just be happening to you and you're gonna be feeling like you don't have control. You need to grab a hold and have control of your life. You need to have control. That doesn't mean making everything how you want it to be there and then when you ask for it, no. It means working towards something constantly, constantly telling yourself, constantly working towards every single thing that you want for yourself. I think it's important for us to kind of understand that you have the ability to choose. You have the freedom to choose. Well, yeah, today's a bit of a short one. I just wanted to, you know, give you guys some gems. You know, I love to plug you guys with the gems. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. You know the vibes. Love y'all.